there was a fight at Croy Bierman and Kim Zolciak's house last month, and we reported it. Um, we knew it got really bad because... Bad enough it, that one of their kids actually called, called the police. 911. We didn't know how intense it was until we got the body cam video, which shows Croy just going off on cops who responded to this 911 call. Um, we're gonna play some of it for you. It you're goes gonna, on yeah. for a long time. You're gonna hear Kim, uh, you're gonna hear first Croy uh, interacting with the, uh, one of the officers. There's also an officer talking to Kim, who's sitting in her car and very upset about what has happened at their house that night. What's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our life. Okay, what, what happened? What, why, All right, it's why our don't... life. It's destroyed. What? Because this right here does nothing but fuel her I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what going on. There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was... you? Your kids. Who, what kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. So We've been outside what, this whole time. What, 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 what was the argument about? Our life! What, our life! Okay. And it's destroyed! Why, why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed! What don't you understand? There's no money, there's no house! She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next! Okay. She's other men! What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a life! What's going on, Ms. Freeman? I just, like, I'm, he's just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person, like a crazy person. Okay. What, what was the argument? Why were y'all arguing? Because I just, Why I, is I just want to get a divorce. Like, I just wanted this to be over. Like, he wouldn't let me leave this morning. The gate, like, is broke or whatever, so you have to, like, manually open it. He jumped in front of my car. I have all these videos. Like, he's blocking me from leaving. He just started yelling at the crib. I have a phone call at 5.30. I can't do this right now. <laughs> Sorry, like my nose is running. Yes, I, I gotta say something. First of all, it is so incredibly sad, and sad especially for their kids. Well, their you think about kids. the fact that that whatever was going on, and you can tell how charged up Croy was. Um, but you gotta feel for the kids who are hearing this, and their, driven, their resort driven is to the call the phone and call nine one one. Right. And 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 it, I found it really interesting too because when he you hear him say. Who called? And he says, your kids. Um, he's like, what, what kids? Right. I mean, he almost wanted to know which one called. And it's just got to be just incredibly difficult now, for them. When we broke this story back in uh, November, we knew from sources close to them that Kim had actually left the house that night uh, with at least one of the kids. They had gone and stayed uh, at a nearby hotel. Now that we're seeing this body camera footage, uh, one of the pieces of the footage, uh, you can actually see Kim packing up and she's talking to the police and she's putting her belongings in bags and, you know, she leaves the house. These are obviously very tense moments and it's something we've talked about uh, many times on this show, the fact that there aren't reality show cameras following them. I mean, this is obviously a very heartbreaking situation to watch play out. Croy is obviously very upset, but you, from the TV producer standpoint, would think that this is absolute TV gold. I, I don't actually, I, I yeah. now I actually understand why they don't want to shoot a I show with them. I do too. It's it beyond. Far it, too it, intense. It's beyond. And it's very real, the issues they're going through. I, I thought it was interesting that you know, we've seen them file for divorce and then take it back. He's filed and then she said, no, we're not getting divorced. It's interesting that that's exactly what's happening in their house. But that's, like, what, that's what I keyed into. And, yeah. and, and this, this is what really kind of surprised me. He filed for divorce, but then you hear him say, one day she wants to get divorced, another day she doesn't. It's almost like she's now in control of whether they get divorced or not, but he's the one that filed the divorce petition. Right. So it's very confusing, to be honest with you. I don't understand if he's the one that says, I want this marriage to end, why is she the one kind of controlling the narrative on one day it's on, one day it's off? You I don't get that. You also heard him make an accusation there about Kim sleeping with other people. Um, I, I have no idea if that's where it's gotten to, but if that's, he believes that that's happening, then you understand why this is just an untenable situation for them to remain in the same house, even though 
They're in the same household. They've already been told by a judge you, they have to live in separate parts of the house. It's like putting a line but down the middle. But it's clearly not house. not helping. And as we've said, you know, sources close to them have told us all the backs and forths. You know, it's one day they're doing fine, they're back together, they both think they're going to call off the divorce, and then it's the complete opposite. I mean, at one point a couple months ago, we were even reporting from people close to them that they were getting along and things were going really well. But then 24 hours later, it can be a complete right into this kind of moment for Kim or Croy, depending on the day. And it's the complete opposite. It's, mm. it's really all over the place. Hi, this is Susan calling from Palm Springs, California. Croy is truly unhinged. And someone needs to separate these two before something really, really bad happens. And the true victims in all this are their children. I just feel so terrible for them. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, it, wow, yeah. when you hear it.